In a previous video, we talked about the magnetic ship in 6 Underground and explained that the team weren't affected by magnet because they weren't wearing any metallic vests. However, if they were wearing armors made of other materials, could they really be protected against bullets? Well, in this video, we're gonna talk about whether bulletproof vest can save your life and introduce to you a plastic body plate. So the main purpose of a bulletproof vest is to absorb the energy of the bullet and avoid penetration into the body. When using hard body armor such as metal plate, what it does is to deform the bullet and reduce its energy. Traditionally, metal plates were used against pistols or shotguns because bullets back then were not as powerful. But as firepower increased and bullets managed to pierce through metals, people started to look out for other materials. In 19th century, soft armors became popular as different bulletproof armors were found across the globe. While Japan had a first silk armor, Korea had once made of cotton. Although these bulletproof armors were already lighter in weight and gave their wielders flexibility, the modern-day bulletproof vests were not created until 1965 when American chemists invented a synthetic fiber known as Kevlar. Having a high specific tensile strength, it is five times stronger than steel for the same amount of weight. That is because Kevlar has a chemical structure of many straight rods aligned together. With strong hydrogen bonds between chains of molecules, it is like a bunch of pencils stuffed tightly and glued together. Although layers of fibers can help absorb extra energy from the bullet, as the fibers dissipate the impact force over a larger surface area, just a soft bulletproof vest cannot stop bullets of higher calibers or even rifle shots. That is why extra ballistic plate can be inserted into your vest to increase its protection. If you've ever played Call of Duty, you should recognize it as the armor plate that can be put into your vest to increase your health. Similar to bulletproof vest, the ballistic plate or armor plate or trauma plate or strike face, whatever you call it, can be made of different materials. If it is metal, it will most likely be steel or titanium. But if you don't want to be affected by magnet, ceramic may be a better option. Now for plastic, what I want to introduce to you is a material known as UHMWPE, which stands for Ultra High Molecular Weight Polyethylene. Being a thermoplastic, it is even tougher than Kevlar and is claimed to be 15 times stronger than steel for the same amount of weight. Compared with Kevlar, this material also consists of chains of molecules, but instead of strong hydrogen bonds, they only have weak electrostatic forces known as van der Waals forces between them. But because these molecules are extremely long, the high number of van der Waals forces outweighs individual's weakness, making UHMWPE a tough and lightweight material perfect for making body plate. According to FBI, the risk of fatal injuries is 14 times higher for those who do not routinely wear body armor. Although wearing a bulletproof vest does not guarantee survival, as it depends on the material and whether you inserted a ballistic plate, the idea is that it can greatly increase your hit points as it can turn a bullet hole into just a bruise on your body, which is technically known as blunt trauma. Although being shot while wearing a bulletproof vest is often compared to being hit by a baseball bat, I'd say it still depends on the firepower of your enemy's weapon and as always, the aiming skill of the shooter. 